everyone. Hi, Aina. Hi, Ria. Very good evening to all of you. First of all, how are you all? How are you all doing? Hi. Hi, dear Ria. Hi, Aina. Hi, Akanksha. Okay. All of you are doing really good. Great. Great. I am doing good. So how was your exam? How was your physics exam? How was your English exam? Okay. Tick tock. Great. Okay. So uh, first of all, I would like to tell you that whatever you have done in your physics exam, whatever you have done in your English exam, it is just done right so please stop thinking about it there is no need to worry stop checking your answer stop analyzing how you have done in physics as well as english exam there is no need to worry because whatever is past it is past right so please don't waste your time thinking about all those things let us gear up to do a maximum in chemistry exam to prepare maximum in chemistry exam so that we can uh, overall increase our, our percentage, right? So whatever is past, it is past, right? So once again, I welcome all of you to uh, this session. In this session, what we are going to do, we are simply going to talk about how to score maximum in your chemistry exam. Chemistry board exam, that is on 7th, right? So you are having three, four days in your hand, not more than that, uh, right? So uh, just share this link with all your friends, with maximum people so that all people can be benefited by this video and please watch the video till the end because in end i am going to tell you one thing very very important that you don't want to miss at all right uh, so first of all let me tell you that your total uh, marks of the chemistry exam is 100 marks all of you know that right uh, in which 70 marks is your theory exam and 30 marks is your practical exam right so 30 marks practical exam you have already done 30 marks practical exam you have already uh, done so i can't really help you in that but yes in this session we are going to talk about what to do about 70 marks theory exam right how to score maximum in your theory exam so this is what we are going to talk about so uh, see uh, again i'm telling you watch the video till the end because in the end i'm going to tell you the trick by which in the minimum time, you can score more than 50 to 55 marks. So please watch the video till the end. End is very important. So let us talk about how to score maximum out of 70 in your theory exam. Okay. So first of all, uh, all of you, I want to tell you one thing very important that syllabus of chemistry this year is changed. It is not the same as that of your previous year, right? So this year we have changed the chemistry syllabus and uh, it is a good news for you that solid chapter is not coming. That means the first chapter over here, it is not coming. Solid chapter is not coming, which was there in 2019. And in P block, group 15 is not coming. That means solid is eliminated. There is no chapter of solid this year. And the second thing that is eliminated is group 15. You don't have to talk about group 15. In P block, you only have to talk about group 16, 17, and 18. So this is a good news for you. So this is the syllabus that means solution electrochemistry chemical kinetics and surface chemistry these four chapters this is physical chemistry this would be of 23 marks as you can see then your inorganic chemistry that means general principle and process and isolation of elements p block d block f block coordination compound this would be 19 marks and organic chemistry, haloalkane, haloarenes, alcohol, phenol, ether, aldehyde, ketone, carboxylic acid, organic compounds containing nitrogen, biomolecule, polymers, chemistry in everyday life, all these things would be of 28 marks, right? All these things would be of 28 marks. So in total, it would be a 70 marks exam for all of you. And this is the weightage of the exam. Now, what is the change in the exam pattern? Exam pattern is also changed. It is not the same. According to CBSC, uh, the sample paper that has been released, exam pattern is such that we are having very short answer type question. Very short answer type question would include your assertion reasoning question. It would include MCQ. That means multiple choice question would be there. One word question would be there. And Phillips can also be there. 
so all these questions would be your very short answer type questions and these questions would be 20 in your exam this time 20 very short answer type question would be there and all these questions would be of one marks each now see this is very important this is a very big change in your exam because uh, in 2019 there was only five questions that were like this but this year we are having 20 questions that would carry one mark and please keep it in mind that these questions would not be direct questions all these questions would not be direct questions some of the questions from these 20 questions would be you know uh, it would require a little bit more understanding practical approach towards the subject so these questions would be is expected that this year these questions would be tricky right they would not be direct all of them would not be direct so they would require some amount of thinking so these, this is very important this is a very important and crucial change that has been done this year seven questions would be of two marks right short answer type question seven questions would be of three marks that would be long answer type question and of course three questions would be of five marks that would again be long answer type question right in one marks question there would not be any choice in two marks question there would be choice internal choice would be there in the two marks question in three marks questions also there would be choice and in five marks question also there would be choice in three five marks question choice would be there in all the three questions right so this is the pattern that has been followed and in total there is going to be 37 questions and 37 question would be of 70 marks so this is the new exam pattern now what i want to tell you see uh when you talk about the type of question that would be asked this year the expected thing is that these questions over here 20 questions would not be the direct questions they would require a little bit of thinking so i would guide you i personally would guide you to start paper from the back aap piche se question paper karna start kariye that means aap panch number ke questions ko pehle kariye uske baad तीन नंबर के क्वेश्चन पे जाइए फिर दो नंबर के क्वेश्चन पे जाइए और फिर जो है आप एक नंबर के क्वेश्चन पे जाइए व्हाई आई एम ट्राइंग टू से दिस थिंग बिकॉज़ जब आप पांच नंबर के क्वेश्चन करेंगे तीन नंबर के क्वेश्चन करेंगे दो नंबर के क्वेश्चन करेंगे जनरली दीस क्वेश्चंस आर डायरेक्ट इनमें बहुत ज्यादा घुमाता नहीं है जनरली दीस क्वेश्चंस आर डायरेक्ट तो आपका जो दिमाग है वो फ्लो में आ जाएगा केमिस्ट्री के राइट योर ब्रेन वुड बी इन द फ्लो so when your brain is in the flow you have done five marks three marks two marks question you know what uh, how to attempt the question of electrochemistry electrochemistry is coming in your mind solution is coming in your mind you are doing organic you are doing inorganic so your mind would be in the flow and you would not get scared by seeing those one marks question and you would be able to attempt them easily so just start your question paper from behind do five marks question then do three marks question do two marks question and at the end you have to do these one marks question right this is my personal suggestion to you and one more thing i would like to tell you over here that these 15 minutes that are provided to you for reading of question paper these 15 minutes are very very crucial you have to use these 15 minutes very wisely because they are going to decide that how you are going to manage the time for your exam okay what would be the time management so 15 minutes are going to be very crucial so what you have to do you have to divide these 15 minutes you have to divide these 15 minutes in slots of 3 5 minutes 5 minutes 5 minutes and 5 minutes so in these 15 minutes 5 minutes you have to read these long answer type question okay just read these long answer type question which are carrying 5 marks and mark a small tick in the question paper in the side of the question which you think that you are having an idea of i'm not saying that you completely know that question but aapne wo question padha aur aapko laga ki maine ye cheez kahi pad rakhi hai not exactly you know the answer but you know ki maine pad rakhi hai so you just mark a chhota sa aap tick laga dijiye uske samne aise aap pehle 5 minute mein 5 marks ke question acche se read karenge agle 5 minute mein aap 3 marks ke question acche se read karenge अगले 5 मिनट में आप दो मार्क्स के क्वेश्चन अच्छे से रीड करेंगे और इन 15 मिनट में आप एक नंबर के क्वेश्चन को बिल्कुल नहीं पढ़ेंगे बिकॉज़ यू कैन गेट डीमोटिवेटेड तो आप 15 मिनट में सिर्फ पांच नंबर के क्वेश्चन तीन नंबर के क्वेश्चन और दो नंबर के क्वेश्चन पढ़ेंगे आराम से और 15 मिनट के बाद आप अपना क्वेश्चन पेपर लिखना आप अपना आंसर शीट में लिखना स्टार्ट करेंगे और स्टार्ट कहां से करेंगे आप पीछे से स्टार्ट करेंगे पांच नंबर तीन नंबर फिर दो नंबर ठीक है अब आपको 
अपने एग्जाम में कैसे टाइम को मैनेज करना है तो देखिए आपके पास टोटल तीन घंटे हैं एग्जाम करने के लिए यानी कि आपके पास 180 मिनट है यू आर हैविंग 180 मिनट्स इन योर हैंड सो व्हाट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू डिवाइड योर टाइम सच दैट 45 मिनट्स यू आर गिविंग फॉर डूइंग फाइव मार्क्स क्वेश्चन फोर्टी फाइव मिनट यू आर डूइंग गिविंग फॉर डूइंग दीज फाइव मार्क्स क्वेश्चन राइट सो फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स में आप तीन पांच नंबर के क्वेश्चन करेंगे यानी कि पंद्रह मिनट आप एक क्वेश्चन को देंगे ठीक है तो सबसे पहले फोर्टी फाइव मिनट में आप पांच नंबर के क्वेश्चन करेंगे तीन फिर फोर्टी फाइव मिनट में आप क्या करेंगे आप तीन नंबर के क्वेश्चन करेंगे कितने क्वेश्चन है सात क्वेश्चन है तो फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स यू आर गोइंग टू डू थ्री मार्क्स क्वेश्चन एंड यू आर गोइंग टू डू सेवन क्वेश्चन ऑफ थ्री मार्क्स राइट द नेक्स्ट थर्टी मिनट्स वट यू आर गोइंग टू डू यू आर गोइंग टू डू टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन Seven question of two marks are there, so you are going to do these two marks question, uh, two marks seven question. Now, up kya hua hai? Forty five minutes, forty five minutes, thirty minutes. So you are already done with two hours. Two घंटे में आप क्या करेंगे? पांच नंबर के question करेंगे, तीन नंबर के question करेंगे, दो नंबर के question करेंगे. उसके बाद आधे घंटे में, यानी कि another thirty minutes, what you have to do? You have to do your one marks question. जो बीस question है one number के, you have to do them in thirty minutes, right? And now you are done with two and a half hour. दो two and a half hour ढाई घंटे आपके बीत गए हैं, ठीक है? ढाई घंटे के बाद last के thirty minutes में आपको क्या करना है? ये बहुत important है आप सुनिए. Last के thirty minutes में what you have to do? First thing you have to complete the calculations. जो भी numericals आपसे पूछे जाएंगे, it it is possible कि आप calculation में कहीं फंस जाएं. तो उस time पे time waste नहीं करना है कैलकुलेट इवेंट एंड एट द एंड यू कैन कंप्लीट योर कैलकुलेशन इन लास्ट थर्टी मिनट्स राइट सो यू हैव टू कंप्लीट द कैलकुलेशन इन लास्ट थर्टी मिनट्स यू हैव टू चेक दैट इफ यू हैव अटेम्प्टेड ऑल द क्वेश्चंस यू हैव टू वेरीफाई फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन पेपर दैट यू हैव अटेम्प्टेड ऑल द क्वेश्चंस प्लीज दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू हैव टू चेक इफ यू हैव अटेम्प्टेड ऑल द क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू जस्ट मेक अ बिग टिक जब आपने देख लिया कि मैंने क्वेश्चन अटेम्प्ट किया है इसका आंसर लिख दिया तो उसके आगे आप बड़ा सा टिक लगा दीजिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ये चीज प्लीज डोंट मिस आउट क्वेश्चन इन योर क्वेश्चन पेपर उसके बाद आपको क्या करना है कि जो अन अटेम्प्टेड क्वेश्चन रह गए हैं ऐसा हो सकता है कि कोई क्वेश्चन आप पहले ना कर पाए आपको ना आया हो सो द क्वेश्चन दैट आर लेफ्ट अन अटेम्प्टेड उसमें आपको कुछ तो लिख ही आना है एनी थिंग डोंट लीव अ क्वेश्चन ब्लैंक प्लीज आपको कुछ नहीं आता है आप फिर भी कुछ लिखकर आइए जस्ट राइट समथिंग अबाउट इट आप कुछ लिखकर आइए उसके अगेंस्ट आप कुछ लिख दीजिए यू विल एटलीस्ट गेट हाफ नंबर इफ इट इज समवर्ट रेलिवेंट तो ट्राई करिए अटेम्प्ट करिए क्वेश्चन को प्लीज डोंट लीव अ क्वेश्चन ब्लैंक देन यू हैव टू जस्ट रिवाइज योर क्वेश्चन वट एवर क्वेश्चन यू हैव डन जस्ट रिवाइज दम एंड प्लीज टाई योर शीट्स ऑल द शीट शुड बी टाइड प्रॉपरली और आगे आप लिखेंगे कि आपने कितनी शीट्स यूज की है कितनी एक्स्ट्रा शीट्स यूज की है सो दिस इज द पैटर्न दैट हैज टू बी फॉलोड स्ट्रिक्टली फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स फाइव नंबर क्वेश्चन फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स थ्री नंबर क्वेश्चन थर्टी मिनट्स टू नंबर क्वेश्चन थर्टी मिनट्स वन नंबर क्वेश्चन लास्ट थर्टी मिनट्स यू हैव टू यूज वेरी वाइजली लाइक दिस राइट सो दिस इज हाउ द एग्जाम पैटर्न इज चेंज दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू मैनेज द टाइम विच इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट राइट ओके नाउ लेट एस लुक ऑन हाउ टू प्रिपेयर द चैप्टर्स Firstly, let us discuss about which chapter carries most weightage. Rohan is asking, which chapter has the most weightage? Rohan, we are going to discuss that which chapter has the most weightage. Hai. Will you provide top hundred? Of course, Shori. Uh, Shori, we are going to provide top hundred question. I will tell you from where you can get uh, those questions. There is no issue in that. Yes. Uh, coming back to physical chemistry. Come on, it's very very important. Listen to me very very carefully. Okay. In physical chemistry, you are having solution. You are having electrochemistry. You are having chemical kinetics. Weightage is in front of you. And please, this weightage is not the exact weightage. What is going to come in your exam? This is just a tentative weightage. This is the weightage of the sample paper that is provided by CBSE. So I have given weightage over here. Uh, just to uh, just according to the sample paper, this is not the exact weightage that is going to come in the exam. This may or may not come. Okay, so in solution chapter, we are having two questions that are carrying one marks. Three, uh, sorry, one question that is carrying two marks, one question that is carrying three marks. In total, we are having two questions, uh, which is of total five marks, right? In electrochemistry, five question carrying one marks each. One question that is carrying five marks. So in total. 
10 marks is the weightage of electrochemistry in chemical kinetics one question two marks one question three marks in total five marks goes to the electrochemistry now this can change now how to prepare see in uh, for preparation of chemistry you are having four days in hand out of which one day is gone today so i cannot really help anything for today but yes you are having four days in hand for uh, preparing chemistry so for preparing physical chemistry what you have to do is when you are doing physical chemistry so for preparing physical chemistry you just have to divide your day into two parts right you just have to divide your day into two parts okay so i have divided my day into two part now when you have divided your day into two part what you have to do now you have to study from 9 am to 3 pm this is the first part of your study this is the first part of the day and the second part is 3 pm to 10 pm now in between you can take breaks the way you want i am not defining any break you can take break what whenever you want right so 3 pm 3 and 9 am to 3 pm 4 pm to 10 pm this should be your study hours now in physical chemistry what you have to do from 9 am to 3 pm this is the first slot you have to do all the you have to i can say revise you can have you have to revise the theory portion the theory portion i know you have made notes of the theory portion right you must have made note of the notes of the theory portion so you just have to revise the theory portion plus you have to do all the ncert question all the ncert question ncert questions and which questions you have to do ncert only theory based question you don't have to touch any numerical please only theory questions you have to done right so from 9 am to 3 pm you just have to revise theory of all the chapters all the chapter means you have you have three chapters right you are having solutions you are having electrochemistry you are having chemical kinetics so these three chapter you have to revise the theory portion and you have to do all the ncert questions that are only theory based you don't have to touch any numerical strictly now what do i mean when i tell you do the theory questions doing theory question means you just have to read the question and recall its answer you don't have to write the answer you just have to read the question and you have to recall the answer right so 9 am to 3 pm just revise revise your notes uh, do the theory questions that means recall the theory question read from ncert recall the answer read from ncert recall the answer that is it that can easily be done in 4 to 5 hours i have given 6 hours slot to you you can take break as you want it now from 4 pm to 10 pm what you have to do 4 pm to 10 pm you only have to do it is only numerical time it is only numerical time and which numerical only ncert please only ncert only ncert numerical please don't touch any other numerical and doing numerical does not mean you have to uh, take a pen you have to write uh, the uh, you know you have to write the solution do the calculation please don't do this just develop a path that means you just have to develop a path how to do it for example i say that okay calculate the molarity of a solution calculate the molarity of the solution right in which the density of the solution is been provided to you in which the given weight in which the given weight of solute and solvent is provided to you given weight of solute and solvent is provided to you and the molar mass of solute is provided to you molar mass of solute is also provided to you right now i tell you to calculate the molarity so you just have to build a path that what is molarity okay molarity is moles by volume molarity is moles of the solute by volume of solution in liter right so we have to calculate the volume of solution by using this density formula you have to calculate the volume of solution because density is what density is mass by volume mass of solvent is mass of solvent is given to you mass of solute is given to you that means mass of solution is given to you right what is density density is mass of solution by volume of solution so mass of solution is given to you you have to calculate the volume of solution this is provided to you you have to calculate the volume of solution right so once you calculate the volume of solution you can keep it over here moles of solution can easily be calculated by given weight of solute molar mass of solute so you just have to develop this path this is how you have to do the numerical please don't do the entire numerical otherwise you are going to lose a lot of time okay so this is how you have to do it anyways so coming back uh, to just a second
Just a second, please hold on. Okay. Yes. All right. So this is how you have to do the numerical, right? So you have to divide your day in these paths and uh, this uh, this way, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. And this is how you have to do the theoretical portion as well as the numerical portion, right? Now moving forward. Uh, okay, so, uh, someone is asking, should we do in-text question, exercise question or both? Uh, okay, you have to do both the question, but preferably you have to do all the exercise question. First of all, you have to do all the exercise question, right? In-text question are anyways come with the in-text question, so you can do them. But please, exercise question has to be done by all of you, right? Now, if you talk about the chapter solution, what are the theoretical topics I have mentioned over here? Concentration terms, unit. All the concentration terms, let it be molarity, molality, mole fraction, mass by mass, volume by volume, PPM. PPM is very important. PPM you have to do right all these concentration terms unit has to be done you have to talk about solubility temperature pressure dependence on solubility here comes the henry's law also you have to talk about henry's law also right this is the theoretical topic you have to talk about vapor pressure routes law you have to keep in mind azeotropes colligative properties again Colligative properties are very, very important. So theoretical question can be asked from all these topics. And I'm sure when you're going to revise the theory, just I'm simply saying that when you have done revising the theory, just read all these topics and think you have covered all these topics or not. OK, just do that. In numerical, you can have numerical on the basis of concentration terms. Basic numericals can be asked. Colligative property, obviously, colligative property is very, very important from the numerical point of view. And vans of factor, very, very important. Vans of factor, I is very, very important. You have to take care of this I, right? Vans of factor. Yes. So uh, all these things, all these things are very, very. Uh, Shruti, please, please ask your doubts uh, over here only. I would not unblock the chat. Otherwise, things would uh, block, right? Uh, sorry, things would be, you know, lagging. So please write your doubts over here only. And um, can we see today's guidelines again in? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Sure, Sudhir, you are going to uh, see that, right? So uh, theoretical topics and numerical topics, this is how you are going to... Um, do your solution chapter and the next thing is your electrochemistry uh, i have given all the important topics over here you can just have a look on it now electrochemistry now in uh, okay uh, one more thing i would like to tell you over here in solutions i have also given the important example and in text question so please go through important example and uh, uh, back exercise question in text question all of them it has been provided to you so once you have done the numericals just uh, you know look at these numericals again and see if you can do them perfectly because these are the important numericals that i have given you okay uh, solved exercise in text back exercise everything has been provided to you so I have made the complete format. Now talking about electrochemistry here, this is the electrochemistry topic. I have given the important uh, in-text question, exercise question. You can see 3.5, 3.6. So when you are going to do the numericals, just keep in mind these topics. These are very, very important. Uh, these questions, basically, these are very, very important. Again, in electrochemistry, I have given the theoretical topic, electrochemi electrochemical cell, definition of electrochemical cell, electrolytic cell, what is the difference between them? Electrochemical galvanic voltage Daniel cell, what is the representation? What is salt bridge? What is the use of salt bridge? Just when you have done the theory, just, just go through the, these names and revise all these things in your mind so that you can be perfect in it. Activity series, you know, the activity series, the oxidation potential, reduction potential, E cell, standard hydrogen electrode, all these things. I have mentioned all the important topics, conductance, conductivity, molar conductivity, change in conductivity and molar conductivity on dilution. See, this is very, very important. What is the graph that shows the change in molar conductivity? On dilution for strong electrolyte as well as weak electrolyte, Colroch law, the calculation of alpha uh, by using molar conductivity, Faraday's law, products on electrolysis, primary, secondary cell, fuel cell. Now, this year, this is very, very important. You have to take care of primary, secondary batteries and fuel cell. Question can be asked from this topic. Okay. So these are all the theoretical topics that I have mentioned from electrochemistry. Numerical is, of course, from your nurse equation, delta G and the value of K equilibrium and Faraday's law, right? What is the value of delta G in terms of E cell? 
so you all know delta g is equal to minus n f e cell so this i forgot to mention over here which i am writing e cell right so all these things are very important for electrochemistry i made notes of physical chemistry do i need to no 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 binish not at all you just have to revise the notes please i'm saying revise theory that means revise notes and read all the theoretical question first and then do the numerical portion okay so please don't read ncert again just read your notes now in chemical kinetics again i have given you all the in text questions that are very very important 4.9 is absolutely an important question please go through it your exercise questions have also been mentioned 4.20 is very important all these questions so when you are doing numericals just keep this thing by your side so that you can give specific importance to these question this is what i wanted to do for you people okay so this is going to be a great help for you please keep in in your mind all these questions are very very important so theoretical topics again i have mentioned for uh, chemical kinetics order molecularity units of rate constant graph for zero order first order reaction pseudo first order reaction activation energy all of them okay you know better than me because you have done all these things so many times numerical from rate of reaction Uh, rate of reaction rate of decomposition rate of formation order calculation integrated rate law calculation of t half t completion arrhenius energy and arrhenius equation graph this graph is very important again this year this graph is also very important right so all these are theoretical topic uh, sanjana i am going to guide you about that don't worry so all these are theoretical and numerical topics from chemical kinetics okay so this is how you are going to prepare your physical chemistry please give one day for physical chemistry 9 am 3 pm 3 4 pm 10 pm this is how you have to do it okay now the next thing is again ours lovingly organic chemistry okay all of us love this chemistry organic chemistry right now uh, in organic chemistry you are having halo alkene halo arene alcohol phenol ether amines aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid you can see the weightage this is the tentative weightage that is given to you now in organic chemistry what you have to do again you have to divide your day into two portion you just have to study from 9 am to again 3 pm and then from 4 pm to 10 pm again it is just the same pattern that you have to follow now from 9 am to 3 pm what you have to do you have to do halo alkene halo arene you have to do halo alkene and halo arene this thing you have to do the second thing is alcohol phenol ether alcohol phenol ether right so from 9 am 9 am to 3 pm you have to do halo alkene halo arene alcohol phenol and ether this is what you have to do now again you don't have to do the entire ncert again you just revise your notes and do ncert questions do ncert question in text question ncert question all of that okay so just have to revise the notes you just have to revise the notes and do the ncert questions in text question back exercise question i am going to tell you the important questions over here so don't worry i am going to tell you about that and 4 pm to 10 pm what you have to do you have to do aldehyde ketone and ether aldehyde ketone and carboxylic acid and then you have to do amine so you have to divide your uh, day into all these uh, in this part 9 am 3 pm 4 pm 10 pm again so i am going to tell you that what is important in organic chemistry okay this is going to help you a lot so please listen to it very carefully now when you have done revising all these things you have done theory you have uh, uh, given some time to your uh, ncert questions in text question what you have to do is you just have to quickly revise this table you know what's reaction yes because it was asked in 2016 you know fitting reaction yes it was again asked in 2016 RT reaction, Riemer Timmer, again 2016, 2019 as well. Williamson synthesis, your Friedel-Crafts alkylation, Rosenmer, Tollin. So all these name reaction I have given to you: Hoffman boramide, carbylamine, Clemenson, Eldol, Eldol, Canizaro, Iodoform, Itard, and Stephen. So all these uh, name reaction I have given to you. So once you have done, see. after 10 pm okay after 10 pm you just have to spend one hour just to read all what i have given in the table and just to recall in your mind that yes i know this yes i know this yes i know this and in case you forget just have to turn the pages so that you can quickly get 
all these things because this is very important and please remember one thing that in board exam repetition is the trend questions are repeated so 15 16 17 18 19 i have given it all to you after a lot of hard work i have compiled this thing so please take please make the maximum use of this thing named reaction i have given to you the reagents okay after 10 pm when you have done everything just revise these reagent you know agcn you know bromine in presence of light you know ethanol in presence of koh pcl5 your hbr hi all these reagents are given to you from different chapters so when you have done hello alkane hello arene alcohol phenol ether in first half of your day just keep revising all these reagents okay these are very very important and from aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid and amines these are the reagents which are very very important so please keep in in your mind that what you have to do okay then your conversion based question from ld uh, from hello alkane hello arene alcohol phenol and ether that is the uh, that is the first half of your day just look at all these conversion that whether you know how to do them or not this is just a quick revision see uh, you have you don't have to do the hard working approach you have to do the intelligent approach right so this is the intelligent approach that i am telling uh, you just have to analyze what has come in the previous year question papers right so this is going to help you a lot aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid and amines so these are the conversions that were asked okay so everything has been compiled everything is compiled reasoning question okay hello alkane hello arene and alcohol phenol ether these are the questions that were asked you have to quickly revise them nothing else aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid i mean these are the question that is asked these are the most probable question everything is served to you in the plate you don't have to do any external efforts everything is served to you you can see that everything i have mentioned over here so you don't have to do any other thing apart from all these things are you pack nomenclature of hello alkane hello arene your uh, it is asked in 2017 for aldehyde ketone it is asked in 2019 reaction mechanism okay this is very important once you have done the entire organic chemistry just keep just revise this thing just tell yourself whether i know nucleophilic substitution addition sub, electrophilic substitution all of that so this is everything that we have compiled to you so that you can know what is important so after you have done your revision just look at these things are going to provide you extra 10 marks i am telling you okay these things are going to provide you extra 10 marks because this is very important you have to be intelligent okay you have to see the trend of the question paper and study accordingly so that is why we have done all these things for you so this is you have to do the organic chemistry right and again this is the most important slide important questions of organic chemistry okay this is this is there for you you can see hello alkane hello arene example 10.2 exercise 10.1 alcohol phenol ether aldehyde ketones it means every important question is provided to you these are the most probable question that are asked okay so this is provided to you so no need to worry once you have done organic chemistry just go through all these all these numeric all these questions and recall whether you know them or not in case you forget them just revise them again because these are the most important question okay now coming to inorganic chemistry inorganic chemistry that is uh, you know that scares most of the people hi chandan you are writing me hi so many times so hi 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 and hi chandan i hope you are doing good so inorganic chemistry mm, okay i'm going to extend uh, the session for some time so that i can give you the best of my knowledge so i'm extending session by 10 minutes okay all right so in inorganic chemistry what you have to do is uh ma'am organic chemistry uh, dear you are going to get everything once you will just see uh, the session again so uh, please don't worry okay strinity please don't worry you are going to uh, get all these slides okay all right so for inorganic chemistry come on this is the devil for all of us right inorganic chemistry but just remember my one thing my one suggestion to you and you're not going to feel any problem in inorganic chemistry you want to listen to my suggestion okay again divide your day into two part okay 9 am to 3 pm and your 4 pm to 10 pm now this is the time i'm giving you so much time to sleep you can see i'm giving you so much time to sleep right so 9 am to 3 pm what you have to do you just have to do p block that means again not group 15 16 17 18 only 16 17 and 18 and metallurgy metallurgy that means extraction right what you have to do in this what you have to do in this don't revise any theory please 
डोंट रिवाइज एनी थ्योरी डोंट रिवाइज एनी नोट जस्ट डू एनसीआर टी बैक एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन इन टेक्स क्वेश्चन एंड प्रीवियस इयर प्रीवियस फाइव इयर क्वेश्चन वट आई एम टेलिंग टू यू जस्ट एनसीआर टी बैक एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन इन टेक्स क्वेश्चन एंड लास्ट इयर लास्ट फाइव इयर क्वेश्चन the time that you are saving in that you are, i'm saying don't revise notes that means you are saving that time of revision of notes right so don't revise notes in that time what you have to do is you have to see previous five year question okay previous five year question please mark my words otherwise you will be very tensed in doing inorganic chemistry i am telling you a trick to score 100% in inorganic chemistry what you have to do you have to do ncert questions you have to do intex question and you have to do previous five year question mandatory okay and in six hours it can be easily done it can be easily done because i am sure you must have made the solution of all the ncert questions so it is not very difficult for you just to revise them and previous five year question you can get previous five year question in any book and 4 pm to 10 pm what you have to do you have to do df block you have to do do a df block and you have to do the coordination compound coordination okay so in the table that is given above we have not given the weightage of metallurgy that is uh, coming up in the other slides so we are, over here we have just given p d f and coordination so metallurgy would be coming in the upcoming slides but in uh, in organic chemistry in d f block coordination p block metallurgy you just have to do in text question ncert question and previous year question okay yes yes so, suman everything would be provided to you don't worry don't worry at all don't worry ma'am could you tell important reactions in an uh, please don't waste your time madhvi please don't waste your time in doing inorganic reaction only two marks inorganic reactions would be coming in your exam and out of these two marks inorganic out of this two marks inorganic uh, reactions that would be coming one mark inorganic reaction you would be writing according to your general general knowledge okay according to the general knowledge of chemistry you would be able to do it so for two marks please don't waste your time what i am telling you just do the reactions of ncert back exercise just to do previous five year question paper and you are done don't worry madhvi okay so this is how you have to do in organic chemistry but still the people who want to know the important topics for them i have mentioned the important topics but again i would suggest you the same thing just do ncert question back exercise question in text question and five year question paper repeatedly i am saying you this thing so from group 16 ionization enthalpy catenation reducing nature allotropes of sulfur important topics come on reaction of so2 chlorine re reducing behavior of so2 bleaching action bleaching action structure of oxo acid of sulfur why so3 is not directly dissolved in water to form h2so4 these are the important topics if you want to go through these important topics you are always welcome to do that okay from group 17 oxidizing nature oxo acids and their acidity formation of interhalogen compounds and their shape bleaching action of cl2 okay important topics group 18 hydrolysis of xenon fluoride shapes of xenon fluoride what inspired barlett to make compounds of xenon and oxygen so these are the important topics that i have given to you so once you have done revising all the inorganic chemistry you can just go through all these topics and just remember in your mind that okay i know this thing i know this thing i know this thing and if you forget something you can just refer to the questions a uh, dear anirudh i have mentioned all the inorganic important uh, named reaction i have made a complete table on it you can just go through it okay we have just done that thing okay so please don't worry anirudh you are going to do that okay it is there uh yes please uh yeah yeah avneet what you are saying avneet what you are saying my 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 forget organic avneet you are not going to you are not going to tell yourself 10 times that you will not forget in or organic chemistry okay the most important weapon is self confidence tell yourself 10 times in front of mirror that you are not going to forget anything okay okay yes so uh, chapter analysis of df block okay df block i have already discussed df block i have already discussed with all of you right so now in coordination compound in coordination compound what we are doing we would be doing nomenclature we would be doing general definition or in coordination compound important topics i have given calculation of oxidation number 
isomerization which is very very important okay valence bond theory very very important splitting of d orbital by cft very very important synergic back bonding all these things are very very important in coordination compound all of these things you have to do by doing ncrt questions and previous year question automatically all these things would be covered so don't worry about it don't worry about it at all okay now uh coming to coming to other chapters other chapters like surface chemistry other chapters like surface chemistry surface chemistry metallurgy biomolecules polymers chemistry in everyday life now metallurgy you have already done in day 3 you have already done metallurgy i have just told you how to do metallurgy so you are left with surface chemistry biomolecules polymer chemistry in everyday life again do the same thing again you just have to do the same thing what you have to do you just have to divide your day into two parts 9 am to 3 pm and you have to divide your day as 4 pm to 10 pm again from 9 am to 3 pm you have to do surface chemistry you have to do surface chemistry right plus you have to do biomolecules biomolecules you can change the order also it is completely up to you from 4 pm to 10 pm you have to do polymers you have to do chemistry in everyday life chem in everyday life every day life right these are the chapters you have to cover from 9 am 3 pm 4 pm to 10 pm again in this chapter please please do only ncert question and previous five year question okay no need to revise any theory no need to do anything just do just remember what i am saying just do previous year five year question because nothing new is going to come everything is repeated in these chapters so just do previous five year question paper and just to do your ncert back exercise question and intex question not more than that you don't have to do anything more than that okay in metallurgy over here i have mentioned the important topic extraction of iron okay zone refining vapor phase refining these are the three important topic that you have to do in metallurgy okay so that was not mentioned in this slide so i have mentioned over here okay now surface chemistry what is important in surface chemistry what is important adsorbate adsorbent definition now you i have mentioned these important topic just for your help so that when you have done all the previous year question paper when you have done all the ncert back exercise and all of that just go through all these things so that it can come in your mind that yes i have done them okay adsorption is exothermic explanation friedreich isotherm graphical question mechanism step uh, mechanism steps of heterogeneous catalysis characteristic of enzyme catalysis shape selective catalysis lyophilic lyophobic colloids all of that you have to do you just have to keep in mind associate colloid preparation of colloidal solution and charge of colloids all these are the important topic in biomolecules carbohydrates the important topic is structure of glucose both open chain cyclic structure fischer and haworth representation hydrolysis products of disaccharides amino acids you have to do zwitter ion and isoelectric point okay these are the important topics that i have mentioned uh, in bases in your dna rna you have to do the bases that is present in dna and rna and the difference between nucleotide nucleoside so once you have done all these four chapters you just have to check them you have all covered all the topics or not that is what i am trying to say in polymers you have to talk about classification of polymer and most importantly on the basis of their molecular forces very very important general polymer general properties of polymer general properties of the polymer and their monomeric units terylene glyptal nylon 6,6 nylon 6 formaldehyde resin these are the important topics from polymer everything would be provided to you don't worry about that then in chemistry in everyday life i have mentioned all the topics that are very very important therapeutic action very important chemical in food is very important and cleansing agents are very very important okay so these topics are very very important you have to attempt the question paper from behind okay so these are the important topic now the point is because this year one marks question is coming which is very very important therefore i have made certain question from you i would be conducting certain polls so that you can know what type of question would be coming okay so i would be launching the poll and you have to give the answer for these polls and you can only give the answer if you have entered the class if you are not in the class you would not be able to give the answer so please enter the class and give the answer i have launched the poll 
I have launched the poll. Please give the answer. All of you. Please give the answer. All of you. Come on. Come on. This is not going to take a lot of time. Come on. Okay. Okay. All of you. Which ore can be best concentrated by frost flotation? All of you have to do it. Enter the class to do it. Please click on the link. Enter the class to do it. Image is not clear. I am telling you. I am telling you which one is the best. Is which ore can be best concentrated by froth flotation? No, dear Umang, that is not the answer. Okay, see now this is a very direct question, but still many people are attempting it wrong. Okay, only 19 people have attempted it right, and Tarun Mehta, congratulations, you are the first one to give the right answer. Tarun Mehta, very good. 18 people. Have said that it is option four. That is wrong. One person has said that it is option two, which is again wrong. Seven people have marked option one, which is wrong. Twenty people has given option three. That is the right answer. Come on, you know that by froth flotation we can only concentrate sulphide ore. What is sulphide over here? Galena. Galena is the sulphide ore. Okay. So twenty-four people have given the right answer. First one is Tarun Mehta. Congratulations to you. So this is how you have to give the answer. Galena is the right answer. Okay. So I am just closing the poll. Okay. Now, now the second one, the second poll I am launching to you. I am launching to you the second poll. Please enter the class to do the, do this poll. Which of the following compound contain all the carbon atoms of same hybridization state? Which of the following compound contain all the carbon atoms of same hybridization state? All of you, please do this. Same hybridization. Same hybridization. It should not take much time. It should not take much time. Okay, Sanjana. Okay, uh, Patras. Please give the right answer. Please give the right answer, all of you. Okay. Okay, I'm closing the poll now. I'm closing the poll. Only twelve people have given right answer. Hema, congratulations to you. You have given the right answer. Option four is the right answer. Option number four has to be the right answer. Hema, you have given the right answer. Twenty-three people have said option three, which is wrong. Eight people have said option two, wrong. And nine people have said option one wrong. Okay, so the correct answer would be this one. Come on, this would be the correct answer. Double bond CH, CH double bond. This is CH two. I'm sorry. This is CH two and CH two. All all the atoms, all the carbon atoms over here is sp two hybridized. You can see all the carbon atoms are sp two. They are double bonded. Sp two, sp two. So this would be the correct answer. In the first option. In the first option, what we are having? We are having H C triple bond C, C double bond C H. This is S P. This is S P. This is S P two. This is S P two. This is not correct. In another option, we are having. In the second option, we are having this one. So again, this is S P three. This is S P three. This is S P. This is S P. It is not correct. All of them are not having the same hybridization. CH2 double bond C double bond CH2. Over here we are having hybridization as SP2 SP SP2. Okay, so this carbon, this carbon is making two pi bond there. This pi bond and this pi bond. Therefore, it is SP. A carbon that make two pi bond is SP. It is not SP2. So maximum people have given this answer. So this is a wrong answer because this carbon is SP. Please take care of it. Okay, launching the next poll. We are only having four minutes in hand. Give it a right answer. Give the right answer. Launching the next poll. Which of the following polymer of glucose is stored by animals? Come on. Stored by animals. Come on. Fast. Fast. Suman, I hope you know why SP. Suman, I hope you know why SP. Do I need to make you understand again, or you know it? Why SP? Okay, so Suman, I hope you know. 
Now, uh, okay, 33 people have given the right answer. Raghav Gupta, congratulations to you. You have given the right answer and you have given the fastest, fastest answer. Raghav Gupta. So, the correct answer will be option number 4 and it would be glycogen. So, animals store glucose in the form of glycogen. I hope all of you know this, glycogen. So, the correct answer would be option number 4. Okay. Now, the next poll I am launching, the last one. This is going to be the last one because we are not having time. Okay, the next poll. The next poll, which of the following liquid pairs show the positive deviation from Raoult's law? Raoult's law, come on. Raoult's law. Positive deviation. Positive deviation means the interaction between AB is smaller than the interaction between AA and BB. The interaction between AB is smaller than the interaction between AA and BB. Okay. Seven people have not yet attempted. Who are there in the class? Not attempted. All of you seven are requested to attempt the question very fast. Please attempt the question. Okay. Sanjana, Paras, Parat, uh, Patras. Okay. All of you are giving. Okay. Maximum are giving right answer. So the correct answer would be option number two. Piyush, congratulations, you have given the fastest answer and you have given the correct answer. Piyush has given the correct answer. The correct option would be option number two, that is benzene and methanol. Right? Benzene and methanol because methanol is having hydrogen bonding. Okay? But when benzene comes up, the hydrogen bonding between methanol weakens. Right? So, the interaction between AB is smaller than between AA and BB. Okay? So this is it for today's session. I wish you all the very best. I wish you all the very best. I hope you would be doing very good in your chemistry exam and you would come up with the flying colors. Thank you so much. I would, I, I, I had a really great session. So thank you so much all of you. Good night. Take care. Bye bye to all of you. Bye bye. All the best dear.